for this uh, first section of uh, Bad Motor Scooter. Um, I'm tuned to Open G and um, I'm going to use to start the song out with the rhythm pickup. So uh, we're going to be up here with the neck and he starts out with two slides from a G. So you're at the 12th fret and you just kind of slide back twice. And then you're going to slide back up and you're actually coming into uh, the 5th fret and then the 7th fret and you want to come all the way up to the 10th fret and then the 12th fret. So you're just going back and forth trying to make it sound like a, a motor, motor scooter's racing. Chords come in, you're going to start out with a C, so you'll be over the 5th fret and play all the strings. Then you slide up to the D. And you're just letting the C ring out, and then when you play the D, you kind of play along with the rhythm. And then you're going to come all the way up to the 10th fret, which is your F. Then to the 12th fret, which is your G and then back to your D. That is the whole rhythm of the song as far as the open G guitar. There's two guitars and we'll cover um, the regular tune guitar in a second, but if you're tuned regular and you want to use your slide, you can play in these same positions, but just use the uh, third and fourth string so you're just over the D and G. <laughs> The second string too but sometimes you'll catch the first and I try and just pluck the G and D so that might help you if uh, you want to use normal tuning and play the slide for the rhythm. The tone I'm using here is a Marshall Plexi uh, on my software dimed so it's turned all the way up and I, for the slide guitar I threw some fuzz on there kind of adds to it but when I'm playing the rhythm, I take the fuzz off and just play that Marshall Dimed. So um, if you're looking for that kind of tone, that's how I got it. Here's the song in regular tuning. take a C, we'll be playing on the 5th string, 3rd fret, middle finger, follow that up on the 2nd uh, fret with the 4th string, and you want to use your um, ring and pinky finger on the 1st and 2nd string at the 3rd fret. That gives you that C. 
don't play the sixth string on that. And then you're coming up to a D. And you're going to go up to the, um, when you're playing this D, you want to hammer on to the ninth fret up to 10 and slide it back. And then back to your C. For the chorus, you're doing basically an F to a G, back to a D. And um, you can add those uh, pinky notes, I call them, the sixths. I'll give you a little way to spice it up. At about 236 in the song, they do kind of go into a little uh, more of a slide lead. He's just playing back and forth between the F and the G and the D and the C. And uh, the, the rhythm guitar does come in with a G note. So you're on the second string up here at uh, the 20th fret. And he just kind of hangs on that note and gives it some vibrato and lets it ring. It's, it's there if you play with it, you'll hear it. But about three minutes into the song, there's a break. They totally stop and Sammy says, get on your bad motor scooter and he answers it with this. That first lick goes, we're on the eighth fret and we're gonna give it a little bit of vibrato and hit it again. Come back to the sixth fret. And then we're going to come back to the 8th fret and give it a little push up and then a pull up. And then you come to the 7th fret on the 3rd string. And then back to the 2nd uh, string at the 6th fret. One more time slow. Second lick goes like this. So what we're doing there is we're going to start out on the first string at the 8th fret to the second string at 8th fret and then come to 6 on the second string. And then when you come back to the 8th fret on the second string you're going to give it three bends up. And then a pull off. And then you'll lend again on the 7th um, fret 3rd string. Give it a little pause there before you come back to the second string at 6. And then they come back in with. And you're just sliding into D and that's how the song ends. So hope that helps everyone.